Hey, welcome back to the Jordan Shoe Vault. My name's Mark. I'll be your host today. So glad you're here. While you're here, make sure you hit the red subscribe button so you never miss a video. You may also just hit the, the bell icon so you're notified when I post new videos. Um, and you might as well like this video while you're here because that's always a nice thing to do. Hey, like you, like many of you probably, we are hooked on the Last Dance documentary that's airing on ESPN that's going through the 97-98 Bulls Championship season. I mean, without any sports on, what else are you gonna watch? So we've been gathering around every Sunday night to watch the brand new episode. Gotta say, I love it. Love looking back on the history of Michael Jordan as a big Jordan fan myself. Takes me back to my childhood, takes me back to all those championship years. And of course, all the cool shoes that he wears in the various parts in the timeline of the documentary. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool to go back to just one of those episodes, a couple of episodes, I don't remember which one it was, but Michael Jordan retired, went to play baseball for 18 months. Yeah, he did. And he did all right. So then he comes back, March 18th, 1995. He declares, I'm back, right? And his baseball season's over, baseball career's over, and he's coming back, and he's wearing number 45. The next night he plays against the Pacers on March 19th, and then the rest is history. We see his next stage of his career. But it was on March 28th, 1995, just a few games in, that he played a game at Madison Square Garden against the New York Knicks, and it's known as the double nickel game. Jordan came back and he scored 55 points. Amazing game, amazing thing. So 55 points, and he was wearing the Air Jordan 10. Air Jordan 10. So I thought, why don't we pull out today to look at from the vault the 2015, 2015 retro Air Jordan 10, double nickel. Let's take a look at it right now. How about it? Here, I got the box here. It's a size 12 Air Jordan Retro 10. It says white, black, true red. It's got the the black box with the, with the gold that Jordan brand did for a while. Just that standard thing. Came out on March 28, um, 2015, which is the same date, just 20 years later, where he actually scored the uh, double nickel game. So it came out for retail price of $190 inside. Here's the my receipt. March 28, 2015. Bought it at finish line. This this pair bought it at finish line. So got the 23 tissue paper inside. And here we go. Let's take a look at the Air Jordan 10 double nickel game. Now, people have varying opinions on the Air Jordan 10. Um, you, you like it, you don't. I mean, they weren't even sure Michael was coming back, right? They didn't know he was retired, he's playing baseball, he's wearing the nines. And so you have a lot of things on this that um, were to kind of commemorate his, his career as a basketball player. And, you know, not sure he was ever coming back. So here's the shoe that he wore for, what is it, the 17 games or so that he wore number 45. It's the Chicago colorway. It was a kind of a player exclusive at the time. But let's take a look at the shoe. Really nice how they did it. Um, notice that if you know your history of the Air Jordan 10s, there was originally like a toe cap on the first version of it because they didn't know Michael was gonna play, but when he came back, didn't like it. So none of the other ones, he likes a clean toe. None of the other ones have the toe cap. But here you go. Number 45 stitched on the side um, is what he wore. Um, I like this shoe. I like the Air Jordan 10. My OG pair, I had two pairs of OGs in the Air Jordan 10, I had the steel colorway, and then I had the all black uh, colorway of the Air Jordan 10, still in the OG form. This is the retro from 2015, and it was retro before, but I believe this one is even closer to the original with the 45 on the side. So let's take a look around the shoe. Been talking about it enough. Nice, um, Jordan Brand did a nice job on the leather, I think. I mean, you can take a look, a closer look at all around the side. It's kind of a tumbled leather. It looks. Looks pretty good, looks nice, it's held up. It's been in a box for uh, five five years now in, in my Jordan shoe vault, so. Got the cool, it's got the Air Jordan 23 on the tongue. It's got the elastic um, lace holders on the sides, clean toe, the black top on the white, with just the red on the in, inner. I like that, it's got the high padded collar for your ankle, so it's, you know, good for the basketball shoe. Just got the straight Jumpman on the back. Now, what's cool about the double nickel here 
is that obviously it has the 45 on the side. That was the shoe that he wore for those games. He wore this. And then obviously when he came back, I mean, you saw him wear the prototype of the 11, the Concord and different things in the playoffs that year. But um, you have the 45 on the side because he was wearing number 45 at the time until he switched back to 23 and everybody had to throw away the 45 jerseys. But the bottom of the Air Jordan 10 is unique. It's pretty cool in my opinion. Um, on the last dance, you see the iconic picture of Scottie Pippen holding up this shoe and pointing to it and, and motioning for, for Jordan to come back. But it, what was unique about, unique about it, it had his accomplishments at the time. Um, had 93 MVP championship, 92 MVP championship, 91 MVP championship, 90 scores, 69 points, 89 all defense, 88 dunk champ, 87 scoring title, 86, um, 63 points, 85 rookie of the year. Kind of given his accomplishments and it says 94 and beyond. I think it's a good looking shoe. I was a fan of the Air Jordan 10 when it was released. Um, I don't know, Tinker Hatfield designed it, the, t the Air Jordan 10. Uh, I really think at the time they were unsure of where the Air Jordan line was going, but uh, I think this is a cool retro, a cool colorway to have because it commemorates that time, that period of time that we see on the last dance where Jordan came back wearing 45, still was in baseball shape, had to get his body back into basketball shape. And we see him kind of do all right, in the beginning, but he goes to Madison Square Garden, which was his his favorite arena to go to outside of Chicago. And, you know, he scores 55 points on the Knicks. And so as a Bulls fan at the time, I thought that was the greatest thing ever when you score that many points against the Knicks. I was really, really, really loved it. Um, you know, he did a lot of things in the game. He, he, I remember the fadeaway came out a lot more. I mean, it was like, how do you stop that fadeaway? And now you see that fadeaway being used by a lot of different players. But anyway, back to the shoe. I think it's a really clean look. I think one of my favorite looks, just enough red, that as you look from the side, you can see the red that's alternating on the sole, but it's just that simple black white colorway with just a hint of red. Um, but I think Jordan Brand did a good job. Got the heel pull to, to get it on. The low back, if you notice, the high at the ankles, but then the, the rear, the, the back of the shoes is, is lower. The rubber sole, I don't know. It's what it is. Um, I don't. I don't do uh, testing for basketball. I don't play anymore, so uh, and I'm not sure how this would hold up. I want to say back when this first came out, um, I wore these these shoes to play basketball, and I can remember I was in college at the time, and I wore these to play pickup games a lot because whatever the Jordan shoe was at the time, that's what I was wearing to play basketball. And so, what do you think? I think they did a good job. This. Retro from 2015 is really solid. I think it's great. It brings back a lot of nostalgia. I'm glad it's in the collection, especially with the 45. Um, I don't have a lot of things with 45. I have some. There was the Concords that came out with 45 and different things, but I like having this piece. What are your thoughts on the Air Jordan 10 double nickel game uh, shoe? Do you like it? Do you like the 45? Does this bring back good memories, bad memories uh, from those days? Um, did you like the tens? Uh, what are your thoughts on the shoe? I think that that Jordan Brand started doing a good job with some of the retros. This was one that I think did a, was a good job. I believe it was pretty widely uh, available as well. So let me know if you picked up a co or a pair back in 2015, or if you're going to pick them up on resellers now. I'm sure that there are some of the sites that have these available. I'm not even sure what they're going for. I should look that up before. I got there. So there you go. It's the Air Jordan 10 double nickel game 45 on the side from commemorating the game from 1995 on March 28th. They were released on March 28th, 2015. So there you have it. Love the shoe. I think it looks good. I, I think they did a good job with this. And um, I'm actually a fan of the 10. I'm going to go out and say that. It's not my favorite um, of the line, but I, I don't hate the 10. Um, Obviously, people gravitate towards the 11s, but I think the 10 was underrated. You saw a lot of players wear the 10 while Jordan was gone, different colorways, PEs for different teams. So I like the 10. I like what Tinker did with it. I mean, I was even a fan of the 9s as well. But um, so, yeah, tell me your thoughts. I think it looks good. I think the construction looks really nice. Jordan Brand did a good job. So if you can, take a look at the Air Jordan 10 Double Nickel Game. Pick them up wherever you can on the resellers. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of the Jordan Shoe Vault. Again, 
Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell. Don't miss any videos that we make. And while you're here, take out, check out some of the other videos that we've done. You won't regret it. See you next time.